mention Jeff Jarrett. And yeah. Oh, there's some funny stuff. There's some fun stuff about Jeff Jarrett right now that I want to talk about. Jeff and, and Stephanie McMahon and a few other things over yeah. there at WWE that I don't think people are really getting a clear picture of. Um, first of all, remember that billboard I was talking to you about that was driving all around? That's Jeff Jarrett's job. That's where that came from. That's what he was doing before the pandemic, too. That's <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, guys. There's a reason why people are like, oh, my God, Jeff Jarrett's back at WWE. Yes. And he's a vice president yes, of doing what? Live promotions. Live <laughs> promotions. Because Jeff Jarrett, not unlike his dad, toured those shithole mid-south towns half his fucking life and went back to those same goddamn rooms over and over again. And every fucking week he saw his dad and those old guys and Jerry Lawler and everybody figure out how to pack those rooms when they did the same goddamn thing last week. Jeff Jarrett is the right guy for this particular job. Can he I is out here putting up Bill. He's the guy that can say, what do you mean? We're doing a show in Vegas. You guys couldn't sell fucking tickets to a 70,000 seat place. You hired me to figure out why the fuck you guys are planning shows in places that you couldn't fill. You put a show in Vegas, you put the tickets back on sale, and you're still having trouble selling them? Put a fucking banner of Cody outside the goddamn AEW show. That's how easy it was. That's Jeff Jarrett, guys. That's the reason yeah. Jeff Jarrett has a job, and there's a reason why Stephanie McMahon doesn't. I was going to ask you, who do you think has a better future? It's a better standing with the WWE. Here's the, here's, here's the simple Jarrett. fact of the matter. Stephanie McMahon could come back to WWE at any point in time. She is, in fact, still a McMahon. But at the same time, please, dear Lord, do not tell me she wasn't fired. She 100% was. She bungled the fucking upfronts. She wasn't getting the new marketing down. She wasn't bringing in the new ad dollars. She wasn't cleaning up programming. She wasn't cleaning up the image. She was out there doing fucking make-a-wish handshakes still like they've been doing for 20 goddamn years. And that's not going to get the job done for the reason why Vince McMahon brought in Nick Khan. And yep. that is to clean up that company so they can sell it. Yeah. Period. Everyone is sleeping on this. The information is all out there. It's out but there. And people sure. are just now finding out that, you know, oh, maybe Vince pushed Stephanie out and this, that, and the other thing. Of course he did. It's a yeah. goddamn business. And he got an offer from NBC to buy the company when it was for sale three years ago. And it was nothing. It was pennies on the dollar. And it was offensive to Vince. Like, you, any wrestling fan knows at least partially what Vince McMahon is about. He is, he's got a huge ego. And the simple fact of the matter is that was the biggest slap in the balls to him ever. He's been doing business with NBC since the fucking eighties, since those goddamn cartoons since Saturday night's main event USA is universal. Like he has been in business with these guys forever. And they were like, Hey Vince, your company that's worth 40 billion or whatever, blah, 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 blah. We'll offer you 1.2. And Vince yeah. was like, what? You can't tell me that guy is not offended to his core. So when Nick Khan comes in and all of a sudden Nick Khan is making big money for these people and showing him business models, Nick Khan's a smart fucking guy. If you've heard him, like I've heard the recordings from those business calls and the and the, uh, the owners meetings, and all that stuff that they put out publicly, that mm -hmm. dude is fucking sharp. He may not be your favorite wrestling booker, but that is not what he is there for, guys. Nick yeah. Khan is there to turn that company's image into something that is more valuable. It is not about ratings. It is not about good storylines on TV. It's not about t-shirt sales anymore. Everything that Nick Khan does is simply to make the company have more value for a sale. Once it sells, guess who's still going to be there? Nick Khan. And Jeff, Jeff Jarrett. Jarrett.